Hi everyone. Um, I'm not sure at all that I am prepared for this video. So we'll see. Could be fun. Could be a disaster. Uh, but I just got this in the mail today. Yay! I'm only like, how old is this? Years off the mark on this guy, but I got it. And um, I hesitated for so long because uh, it just, it didn't, it did, there was no calling. And it's so funny, right? How that works. A deck that one year you're like, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. And then, the, you know, the following year, like, yeah, yeah, I, I really see the draw to this deck. Um, and the reason why, <laughs> they got that on there tight, tight. Uh, the reason why is because I'm like, mm, it just has a bunch of animals. What is that going to tell me? That's where my mind was. Um, and so lately I have been looking at Oracle as a companion to the tarot. Uh, based off some videos I watched, I've just seen how, uh, how, how helpful I think Oracle cards can be, depending on how they're used and which Oracle. Um, and that's beautiful. I'm not gonna go through a big, huge walkthrough of this deck because <laughs> you've seen it. We've all seen it. Spirit starting. I love that. Um, anyway, so that'd be fun to color. Might color that in. Yes. Yes, you're sexy. Um, I don't know what I was saying. But uh, <laughs> the reason I... Okay, so I've been looking into, into Oracle as a companion. And I, you know, I don't want an oracle that has like a whole saying or, uh, you know, like um, trust your intuition. Okay, <laughs> trying to do that every day. <laughs> don't need a card for that. Um, but I, di I didn't. I don't think that for me is going to be helpful to work with in a tarot deck. As a daily draw, those cards are great. As even doing some spread work, I think those cards are great. As companions to tarot readings, for me. Mm. So what I've been looking for is decks that have like one word, and not only one word, but words that could be descriptive. Of um, I'm even like I just need to create my own oracle, at least just for me, because then it's gonna have every keyword I want it to have. So what, I, what I've been looking for is an oracle deck where I can pull a card to add to a tarot card to give it the kind of energy that tarot card is, is portraying. Uh, so like, if I'm drawing the King of Cups and I draw, um, you know, like uh, Sorrow <laughs> as an oracle card, then I then then I'm gonna look at that King of Cups and you know rather than being emotionally fulfilled and on top of his game and you know um, and nurturing I'm gonna look at that as more of this King of Cups has really um, overdone it with his feelings he's he's really drowning in his emotions right now um, you know so there, there's a whole different meaning I think that can come. And that's, you know, some people can do that intuitively, and it depends on the card surrounding that single card, you know, King of Cups. It could tell us that kind of stuff depending on the overall reading or, you know, the card surrounding it. But I just think it's, you know, for me, I like the idea of being able to draw a card to put right on top of it to tell me what else, <laughs> what else, what else do I get to know? What else should I know about this, this? in the situation. So I do have, and I love this stock, the, um, oh my God, what is its name? Got the Seekers Lenormand and the, <laughs> I don't have the box for it anymore. The, um, I don't remember. Maybe I'll remember later. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. Keywords, you know, so uh, I can't really read it from that. Reflect. I can't read it backwards. Arcana, mystery, secret. Um, I really can't. Terra, so Earth, that's our Earth card. So um, they're just one word descriptors, and I love, and I think this dot could be very good in tarot readings. Um, and while it does have energy cards in it, 
Like, what kind of energy? Um, abundant energy. Some of them protective energy. You know, I want a deck that's going to give me straight up energy for that card. What kind of energy does this card have? What kind of energy does this court person have? Um, and for that reason alone is why I got the animal spirit. Because whereas last year I was like, mm, just a bunch of animals. This year, my eyes are a little bit more open. And I'm like, every animal is showing me some kind of energy. It's exactly what I'm looking for. No, it doesn't have the descriptive word, but it has the overall energy feel to it. And it's gonna, there's a learning curve. I do love her books. Obviously I have owned, I don't own it anymore, but I've owned the Wildwood. And this, I got this for $16 on Amazon. Like, it was a no brainer when I looked it up to be, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Um, and she does the packaging, the cards, everything about these decks is amazing. Ooh. Yeah, this is not, look how bent that is. I'm assuming it's just because of change in temperature and whatnot. These are going to have to go under a stack of books big time. All my cards are doing this right now. All of them are bowling like that, bowling in. It annoys me. It's about the message, not the card. Stock. It's about the message, Shane. What is this at the bottom? Nothing? I think that's just, yeah, that's just a, like, a... It's cute, though. Um, this doesn't have the same card stack as the Wild I Known that I remember. I like the card stock. It's still pretty matte. There's, I mean, it's laminated, but not overly so. And you're right, until you get it in person, you don't kind of see the... It's not iridescent. I thought somebody said it was, like, more like a... It's just like a silver on the back, I think. It's very pretty, especially when it's like, you're not gonna be able to tell in here at all, I'm not even gonna try. Um, so every animal depicts some kind of energy, and I thought it came with, maybe, I mean, the book is great. I mean, that's really all I need, but I thought it came with, maybe this is just an older version that came with this, but I thought it came with a, um, let's look on the back, with a pamphlet. No, I'm not seeing it, so this one doesn't. I wonder which one did. Maybe, you know, the new editions don't, but I thought it came out with a pamphlet instead of a book, I think, um, that showed all the animals and their energy. And that's really all I wanted. The only time in my life I'm going to be like, I didn't really want the book. I wanted the pamphlet. I wanted the little white pamphlet. I did not want the big, nice book. Um, I'm not complaining, though. It's got a good introduction. Um, so it does, you know, there, there are... What I liked about this, especially, is that it has different... Uh, animals for earth, water, fire, air, and spirit, which is great. Just, that's phenomenal. Uh, using the deck. What's my spirit animal? Nice. Some spreads. Deeper insights. Okay. And so, yeah, when you open it up, this is backwards for you, so why am I even showing you, right? Bear is earth. Uh, waking from spiritual slumber, beginning anew. So... What I will probably do is, yes, I'm going to read the book to give me some, you know, insights I would not think of. But I think that I will create my own list, my own cheat sheet, um, to be able to learn these cards more and go through and, like, what kind of energy uh, is that bear giving me? Bears automatically give me, like, a protective energy. This is... This is a motherly um, care, protection, nurturing. It can also be about hibernation, going inwards, taking a time out. Um, and then just using my own intuition for, and it is a very earthy energy to me. So all that's gonna help me if I use it as a descriptor for any card in the tarot. I don't need to read this in order to really, some of them I'm going to, like, let's find one. Mm, mm, mm. I guess, yeah, my intuition is better than I thought in this regard because I do get general energy feelings from, I think, almost all these cards. 
fire ant, whale, dolphin, swan, shark. But the, the book is going to be so super helpful. So um, when I think of a shark, it's a water card. It's going to be um, very aggressive emotional energy, maybe even overbearing or dangerous energy. Um, it's going to be domineering domineering and intense. So that's what I would normally get from the energy of this card. Here, though, it says directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. So then it gives one imbalance, intriguing, captivating, mysterious, out of balance, sneaky and destructive. To bring into balance, we need honesty. So interesting. So there, I feel like there are so many ways I'm going to be able to use these cards just for the energy and yeah it took me a while to get them and i know i'm way behind blah 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 but look at that how funny oh my god apparently i need to be studying the shark i need to be really embracing the shark's energy at least today um that's that's so weird right <laughs> it's the bottom card uh yeah yeah so that's how I'm going to use it. So let's just do a quick one card. Let's do, uh, I'm going to use, I'll just use my, I trimmed the large talk. I don't know what it's saying. That's all right. I don't know what that means. I, I trimmed my large talk. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? I did leave the bottoms on. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Back to the point. Let's just a quick uh, draw a card. We'll draw two cards, one from each, um, and see how. I'll show you how I'm going to use it. And I'm not super good with uh, the Thoth yet. Um, Toth, Thoth, I still haven't decided how I'm going to say it. Kind of leaning towards Thoth, because that's how it's spelled. So we have the uh, Five of Wands, um, which we, he's labeled a strife, which is pretty on the mark. Not every card in the in the tarot is the meaning that I know, but I'm learning why why we why Crowley decided to go with these keywords instead of you know the traditional. But in this case, this is basically the uh, the traditional meaning of the Five of Wands. We have some um, combative. Uh, there's combative energy here. There's um, small bickerings, whether it's with other people or within ourselves. It's nothing detrimental, but there, there's a struggle here in um, of energies and of wills. So strife works well. Um, and that's what, you know, that's what this card means, would mean to me in a reading. Now, if I wanted to add on, if I was in the reading and thought, well, you know, how bad is this energy? Or what is it really doing? You know, what's the what's the the second level of energy of this energy i draw a card and here we have the snake um this looks like a beautiful you know that's that's pretty i don't really like snakes but this is pretty so these are cards i'm gonna have to spend a minute because if i i think my idea would change a little bit after really spending time with this card but for our purposes right now i would say if i was using this in a reading this is this is sneaky energy. This is, uh, you know, where, where maybe we're in a disagreement with somebody and either um, the person I'm reading for, I will just say I, and either I am using some underhanded methods or some cheap arguments um, below the belt. Uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't a, an, an experience that's going to help me or the other person grow as a person, grow as people. It's um, something that's going to bring us bring us down lower it's going to lower our, our vibrational energy it's nothing that is going to be constructive it is going to be deconstructive um so you know this card isn't always negative you know a little bit of strife competition arguing debating that's very good for us but so then this card tells me this this type right now it's not so great it's not so great right now but i you know i could have just as easily Drawn, let's stingray, <laughs> crocodile, crocodile, uh, horse. 
So again, I need to spend time with these cards because I really don't know how I'm feeling. That's pretty with the moon. With the moon, the moon tells me something. But see how the horse gives this an entirely different kind of energy. Um, what kind of energy? See, I'm not very good with these cards yet. So this, I mean, it's an earth card. So this is going to be um, automatically a more grounding energy. This, this, this strife that is going on right now is not something necessarily negative. If used in the right way, it can bring me closer to myself as a person, closer to the true me, um, ground me a little bit more. Um, it can help me move forward. It's just what I feel, you know, because of the horse. But that's, it, it's not, it's some kind of strife, argument, whether it's within myself or somebody else. If I, if used in the correct way, if used practically, right, Earth, if used practically, it is going to help me move in the right direction. It's going to benefit me, you know. And so that, this card would change based on any card that I drew uh, in the animal spirit. I'm so happy I got it because I that that just I think that it's going to help me with my intuition, which is something I'm really striving for right now in my life is just developing, harnessing, expanding my intuitive capabilities. So it's almost like a little crutch for now. And I don't even have to look at it like that. You know, it's just clarity. There is still a lot of intuition used. And drawing because I don't have to go with what the book says on these cards. I think that will be helpful again to expand some of my thoughts. But I know automatically what the buffalo says to me, what the lamb says to me, what you know. The, I know what these are automatically saying to me intuitively. And so, rather than cheating, it's just going to it's going to help me to open up a little bit more, which is what I need. I need that because I know I'm a triple water. That <laughs> I have all of this within me and it's been blocked for so long throughout my life that I need help. I need help learning how to harness that and to grab on to the universe in that way and to, to really use my intuition and these cards are going to be great. So really happy I got them. Um, it's just, it is a good example of how um, I'm not a big consumerist guy. You know, I don't like buy, 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 buy. But it's always worth revisiting decks that maybe have spoken to you on some level or um, not passing up a deck just because it didn't resonate in the past. Because from week to week, month to month, year to year, we change. And as we change, so do our, so do our um, capabilities, so do our desires. Um, so does our intuition and things that are going to help our intuition. So I think it's important to not pass anything up in life in general just because we've passed it up, you know, in the past. It could be very good for us right now. Also, something very good in the past could be very negative for us right now. So it works both ways. Um, I hope that you guys kind of enjoyed this video. I really did. I'm glad I made this video right away. And then, it, you know, and that this resonated so well. So, um... Bye.